we're going to practice rearranging equations. Don't worry about the chemistry at this point in time. Um, we're just going to practice rearranging equations. This problem says, what is the final temperature after 840 joules is absorbed by 10 grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius? We're going to use this equation. Q is equal to MC delta T. And T, and where C is 4.184. Well, what do each of these mean? Q is the amount of heat. M is the mass in grams. C is what we call the specific heat. And delta T is essentially T final minus T initial. We want to find the final temperature. So we have to rearrange our equation to find what we need. So we need to know the final temperature. So let's rearrange our equation before we write down what we're given. So we've got MC and delta T is T final minus T initial. All right, we've got to get T final all by itself, folks. Okay, let's do this step by step. If I divide both sides, if I divide if I divide both sides by MC, I can cancel out MC on the right-hand side, and I end up with Q over MC is equal to T final minus T initial. Get T final all by itself, we can add T initial to both sides and minus T and plus T they will cancel each other out so we finally have T final is equal to T initial plus Q over MC all right so let's write down what we were given so we can solve this problem. What am I given? I'm given that Q is equal to 840 joules. Um, I'm given my mass, which is 10.0 grams. And I'm also given T initial, which is 20, 25 degrees Celsius. And I'm also given what C is, 4.18. Four joules per gram degrees Celsius. Okay, so now all we have to do is just plug and chug to get our answer. T initial is 25. Maybe I can plug and chug. T initial is 25 degrees Celsius. And then plus, and I'm going to do a big parenthesis. I've got 840 joules divided by 10 grams divided by 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. Now, when you put this into your calculator, you are going to take this value, this number set here, and put it into your calculator. 840 joules divided by 10, divided by 4.184. Let's make sure that our, our units cancel out properly. So my joules cancel with joules, grams cancel with grams, and because we have um, Celsius in the denominator of a denominator, it moves up into the numerator. So when you put this in the calculator, you're going to do 840, um, not times, divided by, you're going to do 840 divided by 10.0 divided by 4.184. Put that into your calculator. 
you get that value, then you add 25. The number that you'll end up with in your calculator is 45.076. Now we've got to make sure that we have the right number of significant figures. We started out with 840 joules. It had two sig figs. 10 grams has three sig figs. And 25.0 degrees has three sig figs. So our answer should only have two sig figs. So it's going to be 45 degrees Celsius. Does that make sense? We add energy into a sample. So the temperature should go up if we add energy. And there you have some help rearranging equations.